Nick, when you watched last year's tape of Virginia Tech, how sick did it make you? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you're right. It's tough to watch, but um, I mean, it's a good it's a good thing to watch and know to learn from. And um, you know, we made a lot of mistakes. We probably didn't prepare as well for that game, but uh, you know, we're going back and watching. You know, just you know, we, we expect them to do the same thing this year. Um, we're preparing for the worst, and um, you know. I think we've done a really good job preparing for this game, and you know, I can't wait for the Monday. When you say you didn't do a good enough job preparing last year, which was something we heard in there too from some of the coaches, was that just because of the youth of the team? Was that because they threw something at you you weren't used to seeing? What, what do you what stands so, uh, out like that? You yeah, at? before that game, um, they really never played that defense before, so that was just something that kind of caught us off guard. Um, but you know, we, we like I said, we could have you know gone in and prepared a little bit better. Um, and that's what we're doing differently this year. You know, we're preparing for every defense, anything possibly that can be thrown at us, and um, we did really. We're, we've been doing really well with that. So, Nick, is that a, is that? A, I hate to use the word revenge, but does that help you focus, knowing they beat you last year? Is that all part of it? Does that play a, a huge part? Absolutely. I mean, they came in our house, and you know, they embarrassed us. Um, so, you know, like you said, we want to. You know, we're out for revenge, and we want to go do the same thing to them. Nick, are you looking for a more increased role now with some of the suspensions at receiving core and the injury to Noah? Do you think you're going to get more targets now? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, with the suspensions and you know Noah being out for the year, um, you know somebody's got to step up, and um, we got a lot of young guys who you know haven't really had that game experience yet. So I think they're kind of looking to the older guys, you know, to you know play a huge, play a huge role in this game. And um, you know, we're just going out there, just practicing every day as hard as we can, and just you know preparing as well as we can for this game. You got to talk about older guys, but he's an older guy that's new over there, and that's Braxton. Uh, what are you? Coach Meyer was saying he's looking more and more comfortable. What are you seeing uh, out of him at that position? Oh, uh, I mean, he's taking his role seriously, and um, you know, every day, you know, he's uh, you know improving at you know being a receiver. And, you know, his his hands have gotten better. Um, you know, like I said, you know, he's really never done that before, and. Um, you know, he's going out there, you know, he's taking his role seriously, and um, I think he's going to be a huge factor in this game. Hey, Nick, you talk about practicing for everything that Virginia Tech might throw at you. Can you give us an example of maybe something? Have you seen something in practice maybe that you're like, okay, not even the Hokies are going to try this? Just how deep has that gone? Um, I mean, you really never know because, you know, last year we didn't expect them to play that defense, you know, against us last year, so. Um, you just got to prepare for everything. Um, you never know what they're going to throw at us. You know, it's the first game, so um, you know, anything could happen. And uh, we're just doing our best to prepare for it. Can you give us an example of though, what everything means? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, they can man us across the board. You know, they can play zone. Um, you know, we're, we're just, you know, we're, we're, we're taking everything into account and we're just trying to prepare as best as we can. Um, you know, because like I said last year, they didn't really uh, show that defense that they played against us last year, and um, kind of caught us off guard and surprised us a little bit. And, you know, and they embarrassed us in our, in our house. So, um, you know, that's why we d we're doing a better job preparing for this game this year. How much do you look forward to? We're, we're hearing about the environment there as being one of the toughest one. It's Monday night. It's the opener, national TV. Um, do you enjoy environments? like that or that you're about to walk into. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I took a visit there, you know, throughout the recruiting process and I got the experiences. So it's uh it, get, it gets pretty rowdy over there, but um, we just got to focus on the hand and task and you know, we got to realize that you know, we're going there. We got a job to do I and mean, we just got to stay focused and you know, uh, you know, focus on the game and you know, not let kind of block all that stuff out. How interested were you were how, how interested were you in Virginia Tech? Um, not as interested as I was here, <laughs> so that's why I'm here now. <laughs> you run for office now, is that what they did? <laughs> but, you but, you could you see an appeal this? there? Could you, you see an appeal for, for, for Yeah. I'm sorry, what? What do you remember about the official visit to Virginia? Well, I didn't take an official there. I took oh. an unofficial, but um, I mean, I don't know. I really don't remember too much. I just remember that you know they had a good crowd for their game, and um, I was kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It didn't really compare to this place, I'll tell you that. Did it remind you of any place in the Big Ten? Did it remind you of Penn State a little bit? Or, I mean, I'm talking about the setting, et cetera. Yeah, I guess you could compare it to Penn State. You know, Penn State was probably the loudest team I've ever played in. Um, no, I don't know if Vodtech is that loud, but, um, you know, I guess you can kind of put them you know, in the same category. Mm -hmm. Do you remember who they played? Uh, it was an ACC game. Um, 
I don't know, it was like five years ago. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really matter. You hear about a lot in the uh, off seasons coming off a national championship, uh, all the distractions, all the people, whether it be autograph seekers, people, what, what not. Uh, how have you done that now that the season is here? How do you think this team, and you maybe even you personally, have dealt with the distractions of being a defending national champion? I mean, yeah, you know, it's a new year, so we kind of have to put that behind us. You know, that doesn't mean anything for us this year. Um, so we – we just kind of, you know, I think we did a good job. Just, uh, you know, even the coaches, you know, they, they put a huge emphasis on, you know, we got to worry about 2015. You know, 2014 is over. So, uh, and we started preparing for, we started preparing for Virginia Tech, you know, even in spring. So, uh, you know, we're taking this game very seriously and, uh, you know, this season very seriously. Nick, what have you seen from those uh, young or inexperienced, maybe wide receivers who are now have to step up with Noah Brown being? With Devin gone and Noah Brown getting injured for the year and stuff, who has kind of caught your eye? Um, you know, guys like Curtis Samuel, Harris Campbell, and you know, Johnny Dixon. You know, those are the guys that we got to look to. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, they don't have much game experience, but um, you know, in a game like this, you know, you got to be able to step up. And you know, I think they realize how big this game is for us, and uh, you know, we got full confidence in them. What 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 stands out maybe about all three of those, but but maybe starting with Johnny Dixon. I mean, obviously. He got banged up last year and had to have that surgery and stuff. Uh, what just kind of jumps out at you about him? Um, I mean, he's a fast guy. You know, he runs good routes and um, you know, he's got good hands. So you know, I think he has the potential to be a really good receiver, and you know, he could have a good impact in this game. And uh, you know, Paris Campbell, he's a fast guy too. Um, you know, they're all just playmakers, and you know, they showed flashes of that in practice and. Um, you know, I think that you know they can do a good job for us. Do they have the temperament to be thrown into a nationally televised game, primetime game? I mean, you've been around them a little bit and stuff. Do they have the temperament to be able to handle that? I think so. Um, you know, even in the off season, you know, the coaches kind of prepare us for you know big stages like this. And I mean, you come to a place like Ohio State, I mean, you got to be ready to play in games like this. And um, you know, so I, I think uh, you know, with all the preparation we've done in the off season, you know, up until this point, you know, I think they're ready to compete. Nick, have the coaches talked to you guys at all about the quarterback battle? Um, I mean, that's kind of their that's that's their decision, that's their deal. Um, you know, I really don't know who the, who's going to be. Um, you know, they've, they've always been splitting reps. You know, even up to this point. So, um, but all I know is that you know whoever it's going to be, you know, we got full confidence in them. Um, you know, they 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 both proven that you know they can step up and make plays and. So, you know, whoever it's going to be, um, you know, they're going to be ready to go. But have they talked to you the about, next. okay, we need to rally behind whoever we pick, don't talk to the media about who's taking snaps. Have they said anything about the quarterback battle to you guys? Or have they just let that play out? Yeah, I think they're just letting it play out. Um, you know, honestly, we, we, we really don't know who it's going to be. So, uh, you know, like I say, whoever it's going to be, um, we got full comps to them, and, you know, they're going to do their best, and, you know, we're gonna rally around them. You're smiling. We see. They said the part about don't talk to the media. <laughs> 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 they did yeah, I you swear. They did, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. So. <laughs> Nick, I know you guys are really focused on, on what you got to do today and what you got to do tomorrow. Is there any sense among you guys that you know what you got? You know how talented you are. You know that you've already won one national championship. That this, that you guys could be one of the great all-time teams. Have you, has there been any thought about that, even in fleeting moments? Um, I mean, yeah, we definitely have the talent, you know, to be one of those teams. And um, but you know, I don't think we're really worried about that. We're just kind of taking it one game at a time. Um, you know, like I said, Virginia Tech, you know, they embarrassed us last, embarrassed us last year. So we want to go in their place and do the same thing this year. And um, so you know, we're just kind of taking approaches, you know, one game at a time. And um, yeah, we have the you know the potential to be one of those teams, but. You know, we, we just want to control what we can control and, you know, go out and, you know, play as good as we can. Hey, Nick, have you taken Marcus Baugh under your wing at all? I mean, I know last year you were kind of in the role he's in. He's kind of had a long few years here. Have you kind of had discussions with him? Have you taken him, you know, along? And, and like, what can you tell a guy like Marcus who's fighting to get on the field this year, but also if he does things the way that you did last year, he could have, A, a productive year this year and, you know, be a pretty big part of this team after you're gone. Yeah, absolutely. You know, now that I'm that, you know, that top guy in the room, you know, I'm the leader, you know, I did, you know, like I said, I took him under my wing, you know, I told him, you know, you know, this is what we got to do this year. This is what you got to do, you know, to be the backup and um, not necessarily back, but when you go in, you got to have full confidence and, you know, go out and, you know, we got a culture in our room that you got to go four to six, A to B. And, um, you know, me and Jeff did a good job of that last year and, you know, it's his time to step up and, 
you know, just always there, you know, giving the advice and, you know, in practice, you know, if he makes a mistake, you know, I'm there to help him correct them, you know, tell him what he should have done. And, you know, always, you know, the first guy there, you know, they can congratulate him if he makes a good play. And, um, you know, he's he's really improved a lot since last year. And, you know, I'm excited to see him, you know, play when he gets in there. You never know, he can score a touchdown in a championship game. There you go, just like he did in Penn State. So, you never know.